Welcome back to Great Day Washington. Well, Crown Heights is the story of a man who devotes his life to proving that his client, who also happens to be his best friend, is innocent of a crime he did not commit. And that's not easy. Well, it's also the incredible true story that was chronicled in depth on the popular radio show, This American Life. And joining us now is the star of the film, Namdi Asamal, the man who, he plays Carl King, who just happens to be here as well. Thank you so much, guys, for coming on. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Reading about this story and knowing that it's a true story, Namdi, what kind of drew you to be a part of this movie? I think the fact that it was a true story, I'm, I'm, I, I love true stories, mm -hmm. you know, in this business at least. And just hearing what they went through, Colin being imprisoned for so long for something that he didn't do. Um, and then just Carl taking all of this time to, I, I don't know if any of us has a friend that would do what Carl Risk did. Risk everything that yeah, you have. For and 21 years was, was just impactful, so I wanted to be a part of it. Carl, this is such a treat to have you here on the show as well, sitting next to Namdi. Um, talk about your friendship. And, and a lot of people, they say, I can, I can count on one hand how many real friends I have. <laughs> right. What was it about this man that made you dedicate your career to him? Well, first of all, the situation he got into, which he didn't put himself in. And you knew he was innocent, first right. of all. And then, sec well, at a young age, I value friendship. So to me, friendship meant not only being there in good times, but in times of need. And I knew Colin was in a sense, so I wasn't about to let him go as far as not standing by his side. And you guys were just teenagers when all yeah, this Yeah, yeah. We happened. knew each other from the age of five years old, elementary okay. school in Trinidad. And then we came to New York a few years apart. Namdi, when you approach a role like this and have a chance to sit with Carl, what was that interaction like and how to learn from him? That was amazing. So if you watch the film, Carl, in order to get close to lawyers, because he mm -hmm. didn't have any formal training, he became a process server. So, you know, he would knock on doors and tell people that they've been served. Even served. Wow. Yes. So, <laughs> so in the two weeks that we spent time together, we were in the five boroughs in New York, and that was the work that we were doing. So I was really just trying to get into his head and, you know, sort of into his spirit and see what drives him. And that was a lot of the, the research for me. That takes dedication because a lot of times actors will tell us on the show, oh, I, I had a phone call with the, with the yeah. person I played yeah, yeah, yeah. or we met <laughs> for lunch, but you two spent two weeks together. Now, Namdi, I want to go, you went from truly like NFL Sundays to Sundance, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and you do have a famous wife. Mm-hmm. Kerry Washington, right? That's right yeah. So I want to know if did she step in at all and give you any acting tips as you took on this role? Well, I've had a lot of support, you know, and I think anytime that you, I say it all the time, anytime you're transitioning from one career to another or one position to another, <laughs> um, it's important to have support, and especially at home. Yes. And I've had a lot of that, so it's it's really helped me in, in, with where I am. You were 11 years in the NFL, all pro. I know you kind of dabbled in acting a little bit while you were in the NFL, but what have you taken from that training in the NFL to the big screen? What has kind of translated? Yeah, they're really, they're really, they're both very difficult and both very different. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, uh, but the NFL just prepared me for everything. Just going through ups and downs and doing that in a public sort of mm -hmm. way so that everybody can see. You know, you grow up really quickly. Um, it teaches you perseverance and drive and dedication. And, and I just use all of that in acting now. So it's just it's a new really kind hard. of game day. It is, That's exactly. That's all, new kind of game day. Exactly. Well, I read that when you retired, you were looking for something to do that gave you that same rush that you got yeah, right before right. you were about to go out. And, so that's true. That's absolutely right, yeah. And, and so I was like, maybe that was theater, you know, and I started doing some of that. Um, and you, you get the audience around you and everybody sort of into it. And that was, it was the closest thing that I could get. And this is, uh, you know, my, and football was my form of theater. And, mm -hmm. and now I'm doing this. I love that. So this film is, uh, Marquette, like you said, was at Sundance. Mm -hmm. Won the award at Sundance. Carl, to see, I know this, your, this story's been chronicled a few times, but to see it keep going and getting bigger and bigger and now becoming a feature film, and this is your life. What is it like to watch that on the screen? Well, Colin and I, it's very, very grateful to see that it came to this far as to say that it won a, an award in mm -hmm. Sundance. 
So it, it's good the defenders out there to let people know that even what happened in 1980 is still happening in 2017. Right, I was just yeah, I was yeah. gonna say it's yeah. still so relevant yeah. and just yeah. seeing how you were able to maneuver that and get that justice, but it's still happening today. I yeah. know you're big on the sh social justices. Yeah, it's um, it, it, it was difficult when we actually researched it and I spoke with a, a man, Brian Stevenson, um, who wrote a book called Just Mercy and he talked about what it takes to free someone that's innocent from mm. prison. but. You know, you just go through situations where sometimes the system is more interested in a conviction than in finding the truth, and this was one of those situations. Mm -hmm. But I always tell people, Carl's story and all of this is what's really uplifting. It just brings a lot of hope mm -hmm. and really shows that one person can make a difference no matter what. I think that's huge. And one of my questions, piggybacking on what you said, Kristen, is it won the audience award because I think it, it strikes um, a chord with uh, something that's going on in society. What do you think uh, this film exposes about our society? Um, that we still have work to do, <laughs> you know, Maybe. that we still have work to do. And, you know, it's been, you know, that was 30 or so 37 years, years ago. ago. Yeah. 37 yeah. years ago, and I think 10 years from now, we'll still be dealing with some, hopefully it's less, but it takes time. It takes time to change a mindset, and this is one of the people that said, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna use my, the power that I have Definitely. within myself yeah, for right. good. I love that. Everybody, yeah. go see this film. It's truly inspiring, definitely educational. Absolutely. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, Namdi, Carl, thank you. Carl and thank Colin, you thank you for whatever. sharing your thank story. You. Namdi, thank September you. 1st. September, September 1st. September 1st. Crown September 1st. Heights here in DC, it is released. Awesome, right. congratulations. Thank you. thank you very much. It's been fun to watch. We'll be right back. After the break.